The Tasmanian wilderness, pristine, primeval, untouched, untrammeled forest as far as the eye can see, and as far as the ear can hear, the native sounds of gentle woodland creatures. But today the prehistoric environment echoes with a strange new sound. The cry of a career. But this is a new breed of 911. This has a thing called PDK. And while it mightn't look unique, and in fact basically looks like any other recent 911, it is unlike any Porsche that's come before. You see, it's the PDK. And that makes it PC. An eco-friendly high-performance sports car might be an oxymoron, but it's also a minor miracle and a major thrill to drive. This car puts the mental in environmental. OK, I know buying a Porsche won't save the planet. But seriously, on the numbers that Porsche give you, the standard model is more economical by a poofteenth than a Toyota Camry. If you like recycled toilet paper, energy-saving light bulbs and solar-powered submarines, then this is the sports car for you. Although the exterior changes are subtle, if you're a Porsche lover, you'll find it a thing of great beauty. A bit like a silver bullet with a boot. The front end of the car is different, it's been turboized, if you like, and Porsche haven't been able to resist the new fad, the look at me LED headlights. But the real change is under the skin. This new 911 hasn't had a facelift, it's had major surgery. Amazingly, the new Carrera S is more powerful than its predecessor, but uses less fuel. So, here's how DFI works. They've got the fuel injector directly in the cylinder head. So it sprays fuel with a variable spray pattern mixing with the air coming in. That gives you more squirt, literally more squirt, and it makes it more fuel efficient. And by the by, greener. So, what's giving you more dash for your dollar? It's the PDK, or Porsche Doppelkupplungsgetriebe thing. Now my German might sound like double Dutch, but it actually means double clutch. So how's it work? Well, you've got two gears constantly running. Now, I'll show you. Here's your gearbox. Two clutches. Two lay shafts there, through the middle. And you've got one, three, five, seven gears. Two, four, six. Now, if I want to go from, say, second to third, both gears are already spinning. And when I flick the gear changer, it just changes clutches. Simple. Porsche reckon the PDK slashes eight seconds off the Nürburgring lap time, in case you were wondering but it is 60% faster on the change than the old Tiptronic S system. The PDK costs six and a half grand more than a manual, but it gets from 0 to 100, 0.4 of a second faster, which will be a big selling point for multi-millionaire time management freaks anxious to cut microseconds from their daily commute. In the end, Porsches are for yuppies, not hippies. And if you can afford the quarter million dollar hole in your wallet, then the hole in the ozone layer probably doesn't worry you that much anyway. After all, if it looks like a Porsche, sounds like a Porsche, and drives like a Porsche, it's a Porsche, not a Prius.